man's talking about the UK is shit. Man's only saying the UK is shit because a man is at the bottom of the social economic scale, blood. Like I said in my videos before, if you're winning, yeah, in this country, if you're doing well for yourself, if you're on a 200 grand, 200 grand salary, the UK is not shit. The UK is only shit for people that are at the bottom of the social economic scale. I promise you, even people that live in poor countries, yeah, trust me, there's someone in Congo, somewhere in Uganda, somewhere in, in India, wherever poor place, yeah, who's living life, yeah, doing well. I don't want to say a man's name with T because I don't want to get this fucking live stream <laughs> blocked if you get what I'm trying to say, yeah. If you're, if you're at the top and you're doing, or, or if, if anything, you're doing well for yourself, you don't care, it don't matter about what country you live in. And that. But if you're at the bottom, of course the country's shit. Of course the country's shit. There's people right now complaining about the NHS is shit, the NHS is dead, oh, it's fucking shit and that. The NHS used to be good back in the day and that was back in the day. Now, it's oversaturated. We've got too much people in the country. They're understaffed. They're not paying the doctors, whatever in it. Yeah, They're not facilitating money in a proper place. If you want decent healthcare, go and fucking pay the money. You only complain about the NHS being shit because you cannot afford private healthcare. Nadia, stop sending me roses. The only reason why people complain about the NHS is shit in that is because they cannot afford to go and pay for private health care. You think fucking the Queen of England is worried about the NHS? RIP Lizzie and that, yeah? You think when she was on her deathbed and that, she was in fucking North Middlesex Hospital where I was born, getting some dead treatment from some underpaid, overworked um, um, nurses and that? No way. The woman there was in private health care and that. So I'm not going to complain about the NHS. I'm going to do something about it, which means get private health care. And I do need to look into it, though. I don't know. I think hopefully, hopefully it's only like fifty pound subscription every month for myself. But I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to complain about the NHS being shit. It is a free service. Anything that is free is usually shit. There's no five star restaurant. There's no Michelin star restaurant that gives out free food. Yeah. Tell me the last time the Ritz Hotel was giving out free accommodation and that to the homeless. It, it don't happen. Anything that comes free, anything that comes easy is not um, worth anything. No, I don't think private healthcare costs that much. I'm sure, I'm sure like you could pay £80 a month for private healthcare or something like that. It ain't that expensive. There's no way, there's no way it's that expensive. But like I said, the NHS was good back then. That was back then. There's no point sitting and moaning and complaining about it. You've got to do something about it. Don't wait. Don't sit and moan for 10 years and wait for the NHS to improve and that. See, look, look my girl's saying that you can get private health care for £20 a month. That's what I'm saying. It depends on your health and age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, it wouldn't be no more than £50 a month for me. That's the sort of money that I wouldn't mind parting with on a month. 